welcome on back in everybody hope you all have yourself a great week we have more is the is it just me or does it feel weird let me ah. the screen smoothing seems a bit weird to me right now i don't know what that is but yeah back to, back on the golden sun grind Quite a bit of, uh, to get through. Um, especially in this game. I think this is all empty, right? Our goal right now is to find the three pieces to the, the Fork of Doom. Um, so that we can use it to cross the Sea of Mist that lies in the center of Weird. That is our goal for now, so that is what we're aiming for. Also, while playing, we are going to chat about different ideas we can use for our 1K subathon when we reach it. Um, for those of you who don't know, we are 955 followers right now. Um, so we're trying to get to 1,000 subs, hopefully by the end of the year. At which point we will do a a, sub a subathon. Um, now, if I can get permission from the wife, I will do a a timer subathon. You know, one of the ones where one sub equals to this amount of time and so on and so forth added to the clock kind of thing. Lurk away, Misty Joy. Also, I hope you're having a great day. Enjoy your lurk. Sorry for that yawn. But yeah, um, if we can get, if I can get the wife to acquiesce and okay it, I will do the, you know, running clock thing where we stream essentially all day um, and sleep at night type thing. Uh, we step away for lunch and we do like, we do a whole bunch of games. We just add a whole bunch of games. Um, but if that is not possible, then we would just do... Just a regular, uh... A regular degular sub... Or I guess it would be technically an improvised, because I, I would assume the timed ones are the regular degular ones. So we would do an improvised subathon in which... We just have a bunch of sub goals that we hit. If we hit, we... Something happens, you know? That kind of stuff. Um, I have a ton of video game goal ideas. What I am missing, unfortunately, are a ton of non-video game related goal ideas. So if anybody in chat happens to have a sub-goal idea that isn't related to playing a video game, um, it could be video game related. It, just can't, it can't be related to actually physically playing a video game. You know, something that we can do outside of playing a video game. Uh, that would seem interesting to you all because I unfortunately have a hard time thinking of a bunch of non video game related things to do for a sub goal outside of things that you would do I could see people doing for like a charity stream so I don't know a lot of stuff to think about. Uh, we have a lot of good ideas down. One idea that I just thought of today was to do a Legend of Zelda marathon where we play through the entirety of the Legend of Zelda series. Which would be amazing. I love the Legend of Zelda series. Especially the Oracle. Which would be unfortunate because I would have to emulate those. Because I don't have a 3DS capture card yet. So I can't, uh, I can't stream them off my 3DS. 210 coins. I still need, wait, I have, I have sand. I was about to say, man, I need sand still. I forgot I actually do have sand. <laughs> we did it. 
Oh, I feel like I wasted my time. I all that for all that for a uh, excuse me, a nut. Oh yeah, so I also have a poll going on my Twitter. Um, currently, let me... talking about oh I think they're talking about like the website will alert me I don't really care about that that seems kind of annoying all right so let me see where's that poll at and she's standing up the baby standing up no okay so let me get the link to this poll and our now the baby's up Ah, of course she did. I'm gonna let her cry herself to sleep. Hopefully she just goes right to sleep. There should be a way for me to... Okay, there's the share button. Copy link to tweet. Okay, so. Got that. Let's go ahead and post it here. There we go. So that is the link to the tweet that has the... Uh, That's a link to the tweet that has the uh, the poll on it. Uh, feel free to vote. This is just to kind of gauge interest in whether or not people prefer the night streams or if they would like to see me return to day streams. I say this because I will be returning to full-time content creation um, while I work towards getting my certifications and whatnot for IT. Um, so I'm just trying to gauge people's interest in terms of whether or not I should stick to the evening streams during the weekdays or switch to AM streams. Um, I, I plan on increasing my stream times back to four days a week. Um, I can't do five just because of the baby. Um, so it'll be Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Um, unlike what it was before, I, I, during COVID, I had I was doing Tuesday through Saturday essentially, and then Monday, Sunday were my days off. But uh, I, with the baby, I, I need to have that extra day off just so that my wife can get a little bit of a a break. Um, but I guess depending on you know the poll's results. I'll either be returning back to my daytime streams or uh, switching to or or staying on the night streams. Uh, the daytime streams of course will probably be longer than the night streams. Um, and that's just because for the night streams, I can't start streaming until after 8. Um, but I mean, since I don't have to get up super early in the morning by choice anymore, I mean by to go into my job, then um, I guess I, I can stay up later because I don't have to worry about being up at 5, 6 o'clock in the morning. I can sleep till 7 or so or whenever the baby decides to get up. So, I could potentially stream later into the evening, so like I can do an 8, 8.30 to like, 8 or 8.30 to like, I used to be like 10, but we could go to like 11, 12, to give us a little bit more leeway during the week, and then as always our Saturday streams be our longer streams.
But yeah, if you haven't done so yet, I urge you, vote in the poll. Let your voices be heard. Um, this way I can kind of gauge people's interest in terms of stream times. Right now, it looks like there's been three votes, and it looks like it's two to one in favor of night streams. Which I'm not mad about. Sorry, I don't know why I'm so tired. I mean, I know why I'm so tired. It's work. Work does that to me. But I, uh, I felt awake prior to starting the, the stream. I don't know why that sounded like it just killed my person. What? You got smurfed. I got some power bread and I'm gonna feed it to somebody 415 351 314 403 give it to Shiva raise her maximum uh, HP and since her and Ivan always seem to have the lowest amount of HP I think it was only right to give it to her Yo, Sabe, what's up, buddy? Welcome on in. How you feeling? Oh, that reminds me. Uh, let's see. Shout out Wasabi underscore. I hit the wrong button. That is not an underscore. Tonic. There we go. For any of you that aren't following Wasabi Tonic, please do so. He is an awesome streamer. He streams a lot of Nintendo stuff. Um, you'll see him generally streaming uh, Mario Kart, Fall Guys, and the like. So make sure you follow him over on the uh, over at the Odd Brew community. Great time, great community. You will never find. Well, okay, I'm not gonna say you'll never find because if you look really, really 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 hard you could probably find the community just as great as is <laughs> but you won't find any better I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing with these people but I don't know I'm just gonna attack them okay let's, let's just attack them wait when do I get healing or eh we'll use it shine plasma how have you been by the way Tony how has life been treating you Also, vote in my poll. Vote in the poll. Go now. That poll is for um, deciding my stream times. Doing good, just woke up like an hour ago. Ooh, okay. I hope you rested well. I hope you were able to rest well. I'm trying to figure out what's going on with the, the chat. It was set so that it would show VIP messages. Is that a moderator thing? Okay, at mentions, moderator. Oh, okay, I see. There you go. Yeah, it was said so that it was supposed to like, when a VIP chats the first, for the first time, it would like put it in giant letters so that, uh, or like in a big box that I don't miss it. Um, and then it was just supposed to live like that, but it's been doing this weird thing where all the messages are in giant boxes. 
I was like, ah, oh, it's so jarring. It's now it's just a chat full of giant boxes. Uh, let's drop this item. We we get rid of useless items. Um, she has a lot of items that we use for materials, synthesis materials. I have a lot of attack items, so I need to use those. Wait, when did I get the? I thought I sold this. How's that still here? Okay, that's weird. I gotta go sell that again. I gotta go sell that once again. But yeah. Hopefully you were able to get some decent rest. Um, for those of you who are curious as to why I have the poll about my stream schedule, um, it's just because I'm coming into more time now that I'm uh, acquiescing myself from my current job. Um, so that I can focus on other things of importance. Um, one of those things being content creation. I'm, I'm trying to get my Twitch channel further off the ground as well as my YouTube channel. Because my YouTube channel is actually starting to see a little bit of traffic as well. Um, my last few videos have gotten at least 40 views, which is a huge amount for someone like me who isn't really a well-known person on, you know, the YouTube sphere or social media for that matter. So, um, but the biggest reason for the leaving of my current job is so that I can focus on getting my IT certifications and stuff out of the way. Sabi, if you're available, do you mind uh, posting something in the chat? It could be anything. Uh, you can even say Woo, W. You can even just spam W if you want. I'm I'm trying to see something to see if uh, this change in the settings worked. There you go. Pizza is the best. You are not wrong about that. It worked. Now it doesn't box everything that you do. Now I need another VIP to come into the chat and then post something so that I can see if it still boxes at least their very first, you know, message. You found it a little obtrusive because it makes the chat harder to read? Yeah, that's exactly my thoughts too. When I saw it pop up my screen, I was like, oh, this is annoying. The first time I was like, oh, Sabi's here. Good. I'm glad it alerted me to you being here. And then it was like everything after that. I was like, oh, yeah, this is just irritating now. Stop it. I said, stop it! <laughs> so, Sabi, I have a question for you. Any ideas in terms of sub-goals that... And they can be related to playing a game... And they could also be not related to playing the game. I'm trying to come up with a bunch of different sub goals for a subathon uh, that I would like to run when I hit 1,000 followers, which hopefully is really soon now. I'm, what, 45 followers away now? So here's hoping we can get it by the end of the year. I mean, we only got a couple weeks left, yeah, that's where is it, but if I make a real honest push for it, I think we can get it by the end of the year. Sand! Digging in the dirt, digging in the dirt, we're digging in the dirt. Woo! And I feel like I wasted my time again. Back to digging in the dirt. Digging in the dirt, we're digging in the dirt, we're digging in the dirt. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, they ain't getting there. Hmm, that's tricky. You do, you do like Nuzlocks. Yeah, I do do Nuzlocks. I do pretty well with the rest of stuff. Yeah. So one of my uh, sub goals that I thought up was uh, the uh, Legend of Zelda like Chronicles playthrough type thing where I played through every Legend of Zelda in, uh, in order of release. Um, and then the remakes would be played in exchange for the original. 
Battle Network Collection is looking amazing, and I cannot wait to get my hands on that game. It needs to be here now. Gimme, gimme. But yeah, I have uh, do a, I, I have one goal for doing a Pokemon Randomizer Nuzlocke race between me and a, another fellow person. Um, of course, the person I will find uh, at some point <laughs> when we know whether or not we're going to be doing it or not. Oh wait, I gotta stand on the switch, don't I? Um, so that's one. They also have the uh, various crowd controls, like doing the... Uh, actually, I actually want to take the living armor. Doing a uh, Super Mario 64 crowd control run type thing. I'm trying to think of some non-video game related stuff, or not video game, non-playing video game related things that we can do, like a pie on the face and whatnot. I, I can't do the ghost tip. I can't. I'm so afraid. <laughs> and I I tried the uh, the every flavor bean things, the bean boozles, um, and I almost died two times from doing that. Like the old bandage tried to kill me. I mean, I could technically shave my head. Um, I would. That's always a hard one to do. Because I already cut my hair low as it is. I don't know if shaving. I don't know. I think my wife might not. I think my wife would prefer I not shave my head. <laughs> Yeah, I like spice. I'm a, I'm a big fan of hot and spicy stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm not. I never really understood the appeal of the chip challenge. Um, myself. Plus, it's winter, and the heck if I want a bald head during winter. Which I guess is the whole point. What the heck? Did I just drop out of the sky? You saw that, right? Wait, I just came from here, right? I'm so confused anymore. I, this place always confuses me. Oh, this is like a shortcut. I bought a chicken mask that I plan on using for one of the goals, too. Or was it a rooster mask? You know what? I'm not entirely certain. I could also do the Yoshi cosplay stream as one of them. <laughs> Wait, where is this, the flap for this? Oh, there it is. It smells weird. Yeah. It's like a weird rooster mask type thing. Can I fit this? Is it one size fits all? I think they lied to me, though. feels awkward in every sense of the word. I'm not even kidding. This feels extremely awkward in every sense of the word. When they said one size fits all, I don't think they actually meant that. Because I can't get... Okay, never mind. There he goes. I can wear this hat during stream as one of the goals we can wear it for like an extended period of time or something like that or for the entirety of the stream if they so choose watch out Bowser wait who the heck knocked all my uh Yoshi's down <laughs> also I'm still on the ground aren't I wait But, uh, I don't know. 
work in progress. We're figuring some stuff. We're trying to figure stuff out. Like, I feel like I need to put, like, spooky stuff up there, even though I cannot stand scary stuff. I hate spooky stuff. I, I, I hate spooky stuff so much. Maybe I, maybe I have to play something, do something spooky. We can also try to set up, like, do an anime, di an anime night. Where we pick an anime as a as a group and we watch it together. Could also be something we can do. Of course this will be on Discord. Of course. Though I do have Amazon Prime, I don't know if they still do the, the Amazon Prime watch party things on Twitch. So if we can watch it through Amazon Prime, that works too. Good. Stump chat. The stump. Oh, you guys. She buys out the gutter. I'm just messing with you guys. Oh yeah. So there's also another thing I need to talk about with everybody. So I recently saw a post um that was shared on Twitter regarding a gentleman, a streamer who uh, was not so kind to one of his community members when they had voiced their uh, opinion, of, not opinion, when they had answered a question that the streamer dubbed, uh, they answered a question with an answer that the streamer dubbed to be inappropriate for uh, said stream setting. And I feel like I probably should mention something about that here. So, um, I guess the first thing I would like to I would like to mention is that I do not mind if people feel the need to de-stress by chatting with you know chat. Um, I, I, I know the effects of having a community that you can talk to about various things readily available to you um, can be very helpful. Can, it can even lead you, lead you away from doing something, uh, something that you would otherwise never do under, you know, regular circumstance. Um, so... By all means, if it if you need to vent or you know what have you, I do not mind. Um, I would probably rather you just send me like DMs, uh, send me or vent to me in your DMs or or Discord or something like that, rather than putting it into the chat. Uh, and that's just for your own privacy sake, as well as you know keeping the community a little less. You know, or not the community, the chat, a little less awkward, because you can imagine how awkward a situation, uh, a space can get if, say, I come, say, I come up, or not me, because I'm a streamer, so, you know, it's not un not uncommon, but say if a random person, or even somebody from the community comes in and they say something on the lines of, uh, I lost this pet, or I lost this family member, uh, so on and so forth without being asked um, and by what I mean by being asked is when someone's like asks you what's wrong per se like say if for instance I say what's up where you been at that's not you know necessarily me asking you how you're doing I was just curious where you where you've been um, so then 
I'm not expecting your answer to be something along the lines of I just lost a family member. You know, I'm probably just expecting, you know, uh, I've been here, I've been there kind of thing. Now, if you have an issue and you liked for me to know about, then, you know, I mean, I personally would be like, if somebody would have asked me where have I been or something like that, I would start with a, you know, just a general, or even if they asked me how I'm doing, I would just start with a general answer, kind of like, uh, I'm fine or I'm not fine, something like that. Um, and then, you know, if the streamer's like, yeah, okay, uh, what's wrong? Is everything okay? At that point, I would, you know, deem it okay to go ahead and, you know, de-stress vent. Um, because at that point, it's at the streamer's discretion whether or not, you know, and not the viewer. The viewer didn't do anything wrong. It would be, at that point, it'd be, you know, the streamer. The streamer asked, so, I mean, okay, you guys do that, right? That being said, I honestly don't care. <laughs> as long as you're okay with your personal business being out there, I go for it. I'm always here to talk if you need it. Per of course, preferably would always the preferred method would always be inside uh, DMs or something like that, just because you know you never know who's listening in. But yeah, I'm. Don't ever feel like you can't come into the chat and speak your mind. So as long as you're being respectful to the community, go for it. I no issues. And if I ever catch anybody in the chat berating anybody in the, or from the community for any reason whatsoever, you you get banned that you're just gonna get banned that that's never an okay thing to do in any situation for any reason and that even goes for me as the streamer even for me as the streamer it's never okay to be berate or belittle anyone for anything I feel like I'm going the wrong way again. Sorry, I know. A little, little bit heavy stuff on you. It's just something that's been on my mind since last night when I read that tweet, and then again this morning when I looked at various opinions uh, on it. Um. I've been seeing a lot of mixed mixed feelings regarding the situation. Um, and then, you know, some I get, and then there are others that I'm like, eh. I've seen some people use Twitch chat as their stress dumps without being prompted. Like, talking about uh, all the medical issues makes people, makes many people uncomfortable. And that's, that's, that's where my line of thought goes as well. By the way, Shade Leaf, welcome onto the, ch uh, the channel. How you feeling? Welcome on in. Welcome. Someone told you of a thread recently of a name of an unnamed person vocally spreading they follow they unfollow and block anyone who plays the new Hogwarts game. It reminds me of what you're talking about now because it just sounds absurd. <laughs> That's hilarious. I don't how am I liking Golden Sun 2? I it's probably one of my favorite RPGs from Nintendo and, and my, what the heck? Why do I keep falling out of the sky like that? I what? It's probably one of my favorite RPGs of all time from Nintendo. But yeah, like I that's where I'm coming to as well coming from as well, Shade Leaf. Um I personally don't mind, but I do understand that for instance, somebody just say for instance, Shade Leaf just jumped into the chat and I say, Hey Shade Leaf, how's it going? And Shade Leaf responds with Sorry, uh, my mother died. Nothing, nothing else. My mother died, or my dog died, or my dad died, or something like that. I would look at Shade Leaf like, 
I'm very sorry for your loss, but I don't, I don't know. There's, I, there's nothing else I can do. So it's like, okay. And then, then at that point, it's like, now I feel awkward. I don't know what to talk about now. You know, I don't know what to say because I feel like if I say anything, it could be, it could be misconstrued as disrespectful to the person who lost a family member. And it's like, ugh. So it's like, I can, I can see not one people to come into your chat and just blurt that out for any reason. Now, if say Shade Leaf, I say, hey, Shade Leaf, how's it going? And Shade Leaf is like, well, I'm not feeling all that hot right now. Now, if I then say to Shade Leaf, oh, well then what's the problem? Is everything okay? At that point, I'm asking Shade Leaf specifically to voice what's going on. And if Shade Leaf decides, Shade Leaf wants to talk about, you know, stuff such as death in the family or, you know, problems at work or any that kind of stuff. I, at that point, I gave the permission to, you know, to say that stuff in chat. So then nobody can just pile on him on Shade Leaf because I, the chat would know that I'm the one looking or listening. Um, it, which is completely different than just dumping it right, right there for everybody to see, not knowing that like, not, there's a lot of people who don't really want to have to deal with stuff like that. It's one of your top RPGs of all time. See, we're going to get along. I live, I live with a streamer who has had this problem and we discussed it more than once. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, I definitely see the other side. Um, I just feel like in a situation like that, people... So like, for this instance, the video that I watched, the person, the streamer was being, you know, a douchebag. <laughs> we're, we're not even gonna admit some words with that. The streamer was being a douchebag. Um... But, the people are... People took that as, well, the stream was a douchebag, defend the girl, and I'm like, you can't not bring awareness to the fact that you still shouldn't do that. Yeah, there's better ways to handle this situation, but that's, it's not something you do unless you're asked. You just don't do that. It's really awkward. So, I'm that, I'm that guy that will look at a situation and be like, yeah, it's bad, but, you know... There is a point in there somewhere, and I just want to bring light to it. It, it. it seems counterproductive to ignore a good point just because you don't like the, 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 um, the delivery. That's like saying, oh man, this guy just killed somebody, but the guy that told on him, he was really rude about the way he, t uh, he delivered that. So eh, we're not going to bother with it. Whatever. It's like, what? One person I could almost put together a medical record for them. They were always so depressing. It would leave uh, to not drag myself. You would leave to not drag yourself down. Yeah. And sometimes people just need that. And I get it. And that's why I'm always open for people to come into chat and say stuff. You know, I'm like, I have no problem with you doing it. Now, if I feel like it's making the chat awkward, then yeah, I would just stop it. I'd be like, okay, well, unfortunately, you're making people uncomfortable, so... Not, not you, but unfortunately, the topic is making people uncomfortable, so if it would... If you would not mind, I would prefer that we not talk about this anymore. You know, something like that. Yep. Yep, yep. I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. I'm also lost and don't know where I'm going anymore. I've been running around circles this whole time. I think I need to go back to the beginning of the stage. Which is what this is. This place is very confusing. Yeah, I've, I don't remember ever having this much trouble with this place, though. But I am, like... Confused. Can I run? No, I can't run. I just wasted time and I'm gonna get hit. Ugh! The pain! So, Shade Leaf, what have you been up to lately? Wasabi, what have you been up to lately? What has everybody been up to lately? I want to know. What have you all been up to lately? Anything fun? Raiden! I 
might have wasted that. Nah, I think that's fine. Oh, uh, you still couldn't kill them all? Pierce, you suck. Pierce, you suck. Is this the right door? This might not be the right door. But you know what? We're going to go with it. I have to remember how to get to the right side of the face thingy. Oh, never mind. This is the right door. I lied. This whole time, all I had to do was go to the right. It's a busy time for work. So mostly just dealing with that. Oh. If you don't mind me asking, what kind of work do you do? I currently do uh, building maintenance for a hotel company, uh, for Marriott. That is my current occupation, but that will be changing as of tomorrow because tomorrow um, I am leaving my job. Tomorrow's my last day of my job. I resigned. Um, this, that's what, 13? This one's 12. But she has lower defense, uh, but she's the healer. Uh, I'll give it to her. But yeah, um, I'm resigning because I am going to be focusing on content creation as well as my IT certifications and the like, um, which is something that I can't do with my current job uh, because my current job re demands so much of my time. Um, and then, of course, I have my almost one and a half year old that I have to look out for as well. So thank you. You teach, you love your maintenance and facility people. I So, my biggest issue was that I put in, I've been at my current company, I've been with my current company um, doing building maintenance for nine and a half years now. I put in a lot of time and work and money into learning new skills and the like, all in hopes of moving up in the ranks. And I've been working in the same position at my at with this company for seven years now. <laughs> so I'm sure you guys can probably see, you know, where the frustration comes in when you're trying so hard to to advance. And it's not even that it was like, okay, I did all this work and it's just gone unnoticed. It's, I keep getting reminded daily about how I'm doing all this work and going above and beyond and learning all this new stuff, but I'm not ready. And I'm like, well, when will I be ready? Like, how much more effort do I need to put into this? Um, and more, most recently I got passed over for another promotion. Uh, they gave it to a gentleman that started at the hotel that I work in, because um, the hotel I'm leaving right now, I've been at for like six years. Um, they gave the promotion to a new guy that just started like not even a full year ago. And I'm like, I can do all, I can do all the work the, uh, the job entails. Um, and I know more about the building than the guy they promoted. And yet they promoted the other guy over me and said I wasn't ready. So I was just like, okay, yeah, at that point I was like, all right, I'm just wasting my time here. Um, I've been trying to get into IT since COVID started and I was like, I think I just need to step away from my current occupation and just focus on getting my certifications and stuff. Maya, what's up, buddy? How you been? So yeah, I was like, yeah, I'm just done. And my managers, they tend to treat you poorly. Um, they're nice people. Well, my director is a nice person. My chief engineer is a bit condescending, and I just cannot stand dealing with him. Um, but I don't mind the director. Now, the issue I have, the only issue I would have with my director is that he's, 
he's the perfect employee, so to speak. And what I mean by the perfect employee is that he he's literally just he the bottom line is all he cares about. Uh, what can he do to make things easier for the owners and whatnot? That's it. Um, when I got to my the ho when I got to the hotel that I'm currently at, um, my department had about eighteen or eighteen or nineteen engineers on uh on their uh, payroll. Um. I'm getting ready to leave, and as of right now, we have already lost, i say they usually downsize uh, one or two engineers yearly, um, so I think now we're at like 11. <laughs> we have 11 engineers. We had three managers of four, the director, the chief engineer, assistant chief engineer, and then a... Basically, the a uh, want to call them an intern engineer. Now we just have the director and the chief. They completely removed the other two, um, the other two uh, manager spots, um, which is unfortunate because the we had the one manager that was focused solely on doing rooms. Uh, we had one manager that was focused on paperwork, and then you had the manager that was focused on repairs and all that kind of stuff. Then you had the director who oversees it all. Um, now we just have the director who oversees it all, and the one manager that takes and does all the work of the other managers that were here, but they all left and they closed the position. So it's like, it's more work for that one person and then for the regular positions they downside so much that everybody else has all that extra work no monetary uh, compensation for it so I was like I just got tired of spending so much time and effort for something that wasn't bearing any fruit if that makes sense So yeah, I'm going to be working on getting my CompTIA A plus certification. Um, I'm probably also going to be going to start going to the local community college. And I'm going to be working on getting the... Uh, getting my uh, help desk technician uh, certification. So that I can at least try to get my foot in the door with the help desk uh, position or something like that. Um, then I'll probably look into trying to figure out if there's like any boot camps for like PC building and that kind of stuff because I would love to put rigs together. Um, that that's the thing I want to do the most in IT is actually build PC rigs, gaming rigs, um, standard desk, you know, standard business work rigs, that kind of stuff. You teach at community college, so you rep them. <laughs> oh, that's cool. What do you teach at community college? Also, what item did I just pick up? Was that a vial? I did not see what I just grabbed. I just grabbed a thing and I don't know what it was. My only disgrunt the my only thing about college is that I already owe so much because of my last school. Okay, cool. That's what's up. I already owe so much because of my last school, which was the Art Institute of Washington. Um, I'm in the process of trying to get that those that loan or those loans forgiven um, because they were listed on a long list of schools that were uh, engaging in bad practices and whatnot. Um, so the hope is that it gets forgiven um, and I can get rid of that debt because I like $45,000 in debt for a school that one engaged in bad practices and two I don't use any of the stuff that I learned there besides the math and English stuff um I 
I use oh I use the math to English stuff and I use some of the Illustrator Photoshop stuff that I learned there. I don't know I don't use any of the coding stuff that I learned for web design and interactive media because that's not what I wanted to go to school for. I was going to school for I wanted to go to school for uh, game programming, um, but they said because my GPA coming out of high school was not high enough um, that I couldn't you know I couldn't jump into the field of of my choice. Um, but then they were like, but if you sign up and you start in, for instance, web design and interactive media, and you can get your GPA up to the 3.0 that, uh, is that, not the 3.0, the, uh, yeah, the 2.5 that's necessary, we can move you over into the game program, uh, session. Um, and you have one semester to do it. I did it at 2.6. Actually, you need a 3.0 to get it. I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> it's like, oh, of course so. You knew exactly what I was going to say and I said it. Dang. So it's like, gotcha. So I was like, okay, I tried for the 3.0. Um, all the while, prices for classes were going up. They started taking money out of my pocket, and I was like, so towards the end, I got stuck because for Art Institute of Washington, or the Art Institute in general, they have these portfolio prep classes. You have a pre-portfolio prep, and then you have you have a portfolio prep, my bad, and then a final portfolio. You have to f pass the portfolio prep before you can go to the final portfolio. Um, and all this is just to get you prepared to show off all your work and stuff to the general public before the actual walking across the stage and getting your diploma. The problem is, is I have no artistic anything. Um, I can draw 10 pictures and you'll only find one of those pictures that looks marginally good. The rest of them all look like crap. Um, and I told him this going into it. I have no design sense whatsoever. Um, that's why I'm going for game programming and not game design, because I cannot design anything. Sounds like a tongue twister. <laughs> so, the problem is, is that the portfolio prep and the portfo final portfolio, they focus so hard on the design. Don't care about the coding and stuff that I did to get it to work properly and make it look fun. They just cared that it did not look up to their school standard in terms of design. I'm like, well, what did you want me to do? I already told you, I'm not an artist. I don't, I have no design sense. But you guys told me that I cannot go outside and look for outside help to like get, you know, pictures and stuff done. So I'm like, so what, what, what were you expecting from me? I'm so confused, what's going on here? So needless to say, that did not work out well. Um, so yeah, after trying the same class multiple times, also the one teacher that only taught on the weekend, um, which was really hard for me because I had to take public transportation and buses don't run on Saturday. So it's like, uh. But this, this lady, she refused to teach any other day but Saturday night. I mean, I said I sat today during the morning, and it's like a six-hour class. I'm like, oh my god, this is bear unbearable. So yeah, I was like, I was like, I can't do this anymore. I, I ended up having to pay them money just to leave. <laughs> I had to pay them out of pocket just to leave the school. And you know what's funny? I paid them to exit the school. And then shortly after I paid them to leave the school, they sent me a letter in the mail saying, you're being expelled. I'm like, what? I just paid you guys the money that I had left over for classes to withdraw myself from school. And you guys decided to just, you know, expel me instead. I was like, okay. Oh, boy. So, I was like, eh, whatever. Hope I can get it all back. Oh, I'm never gonna get that money back. I just want to get the loans that I have forgiven. That way I can go to another school and not have to worry about 
you know, adding to the already insane amount of student loan debt that I already have, you know? That's the biggest thing about, because, like, I would not mind going to the community co local community college and doing, you know, courses for uh, computer tech, for building PCs and whatnot. My only issue is that I cannot afford financial aid. I do not want to put myself in a situation where I'm tacking on to the already insane amount of financial aid that I have to pay 